Lindia Willis Jacobo. I'm professor of pediatrics at UC San Diego School of Medicine. I also serve as the assistant dean for diversity and community partnerships, and I'm the director of Prime Health Equity. When we sort of reflect, one of the one of the things we spend a lot of time talking about with with our students, our students in prime and our under other underrepresented in medicine students is that educational disparities are directly linked to health disparities. And so although I, I think at first glance that perhaps doesn't make sense, but when one looks at where many of our underrepresented and disadvantaged students start in terms of their educational journey. Um, education, early educational preparation is extraordinarily important for future um, educational success and so many of our, our students are not well prepared uh, to excel in their undergraduate years. For some it takes a couple years uh, to really get going. I think there are issues centered on stereotype threat um, and all sorts of uh, areas that are that our students struggle with. I think many times on our undergraduate campuses there are not enough counselors and folks to really um, empower our students. And so as a result of that, the, the objective data, the academic metrics that some of our students graduate with, uh, GPAs may not be quite as strong as would be required to be successful in medical school. And so post -bac programs are absolutely um, uh, vital uh, for further academic readiness and uh, preparation and what we know from our experiences is after those students are allowed or provided a, a structured mentorship uh, program that doesn't focus solely on uh, enhancing GPAs and improving MCAT scores but really focus on mentoring and, and helping students through their personal and professional development that those students by the end of those programs do have the readiness for medical schools.